before I get into this video, I'd just like to uh, update you guys quickly. I've been ill for the last week or so. Uh, I've got a pretty horrible cough and just general man flu in general. Um, and I haven't been posting much in the blog, but in the next few days, there'll be at least two blog posts coming out because I am working on two ones. Uh, and then I'm also working in the background on a massive project for the blog as well on White Hat SEO, which most of you will probably be surprised with. Um, this video is quite interesting, something that I've been wanting to for a while. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, Charles Float here, and welcome to a video that's probably going to cause a bit of controversy. Um, this video is taking a look at the expired domain and the more SEO domain market in general, and how I think we should change the current state of the market and the current metrics that we use. Um, now, I think a statement that most SEOs would agree with is that about 99% of the SEO or, or domain market look at either PageRank or look at TrustFlow. The majority will look at TrustFlow. When picking up a domain, most people are going to look at TrustFlow. So I'm going to actually pull that apart and say don't look at TrustFlow whatsoever because that's a stupid metric to look at in the first place. Um, <coughs> I'm going to show you this example domain here, linux-gazette.org, which we picked up today. Um, this domain, as you can see, has a trust flow of 3 and a station flow of 29. Yet, if you look below the fold, it has zonal backlinks of 520 and a referring domains of 94, referring IP addresses of 86, which is quite big. Um, and then look at the anchor text, you know, Linux Gazette, is a main one, and the main one is the website anchor text, which is really good because that's a, you know, it's a branded or it's a non branded anchor text uh, look at the site, which is really good. Um, I really like this anchor text profile here because it's completely, you know, it's, it's non-spam, it's non-anchor text, that kind of stuff. Um, so this site here actually used to be a site owned by this publication, which was the Linux Gazette. It was basically a online magazine about Linux tutorials, about news about Linux, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the anchor text on here specifically uh, is this one here, which as you can see links back with a do follow link to linux-gazette.org. Now this um, publication in particular is actually a really good publication um, and this domain would make for a fantastic domain for the computing and the internet and the technology kind of industry uh, if you wanted to make a PBN domain or even if you wanted to make a money site. Um, obviously the money site would have to be something related to Linux which would be pretty hard to make money from as Linux is open source and free uh, but I'm sure there's you know various hosting solutions or something that you could put on this kind of site. Um, but the backlinks on this site, so I'm going to, instead of looking at Majestic as the one wholly true metric of all domains, I'm going to look at, uh, I'm going to look at Ahrefs, which is where we actually mostly concentrate our resources on, because we, because generally, um, generally Ahrefs index domains a lot more than, uh, than Majestic do. And there's no metric for you to look at. Well, there is. There's a URL rating and domain me rating metric, which I really don't look at at all. But there's no metric overall. Because I'm not looking at those two metrics, there's no metric that I look at. I just look at the link profiles. So if we go to inbound links, referring domains, you'll see, you know, we have an ac.net, we have some orgs, we have some uh, edus, some... Oh, well, we have we have loads of really good domains on here. So this, this domain here makes for a really good domain. But 95% 90, of you are going to overlook this domain completely because it's got a trust flow of three. Now, in comparison, if we look at another domain here, this domain here, CarsonValleyOnline.com, you'll see it has similar kind of similar kind of stats here, but it's got a lot better trust flow and a lot better citation flow. This is the kind of domain that almost all the domain sellers on the current market will be selling you today. If you look at the homepage title, it's got some Chinese anchor text, uh, Chinese title. Sorry. If you look at the anchor text, it's got some pretty good uh, just branded stuff. But then we're going to have a look at the backlink profile, and this is where it gets really interesting. Basically, the entire link profile is either link pages, which are horrendous because none of them are contextual, or their directory links, which obviously are going to be having loads of stuff. Here's a directory link, that kind of stuff. Another directory. Um, none of the links on this link profile are anywhere near the links on this link profile, even though the trust flow is so much lower. You can see there's even a trust flow 38 link here that they haven't trust flow 31. But they're also not related whatsoever. Look at all these links. If you have a look at the topical trust flow, they're not related whatsoever. Yet this domain here could easily sell for upwards of $50, $100, that kind of stuff. Um, those are people who sell those domains. Whereas this 
this domain here, you'd probably, if you were looking at the Majestic stats, you would probably wouldn't be able to sell this because most people would be saying, wait, it's Trust Flow 3, Station Flow 29. Well, that's going to be spammed to death, even though the realistic one is this one is spammed to death. Now, another tactic people have been using as well in the domain selling market is finding domains like this. So this is a uh, this is a domain with just two backlinks on here. But if we run it through Ahrefs, it's actually got five and five referring domains. Um, realistically, the only way it's getting TF is from this one Trustflow 31 link um, that's giving it the 18 trust flow here and the six citation flow. Um, over here, you know, we see a lot more links. We've got a yellowpages.com, we've got a web portfolio link, we've got all these other links that uh, Majestic don't see on a on a trust because and that's that's a one fifth ratio, you know what I mean? That's a that's a big ratio compared to compared to what AHFC. Um, but basically what people have been doing is they've been picking up domains like this with a kind of quite good trust flow. They'll then make a home page, just a one page website on this, and then they'll link to their inventory domains that they have already, which then boosts up the trust flow of those inventory domains. I've also been seeing people get uh, go through the SAPE inventory, so go through all the SAPE links, find SAPE links that are trust flow 20 plus, but for under 50 cents or, you know, a couple hundred rubles or whatever per month for that for that link, and then they'll buy a link to their uh, to their domain inventory website the trust flow immediately goes through the roof within a few weeks you know it jumps by 15 or 20 or whatever so it goes to like trust flow 20 25 30 even on a previously maybe trust flow 5 domain they'll then sell that domain to people because people are only looking at the majestic stats and because that majestic stats are you know 25 trust flow and 25 citation flow from that one or two or those even three or four sape links that they bought for two dollars a month they can then go and sell that domain for 25 30 dollars per domain obviously making a massive return in comparison and, it, and if they've actually purchased that domain rather than it being an expired domain they can sell it for even more they can maybe go for 50 dollars 100 dollars something like that the main thing to look at when looking at domains is the link profile. So Majestic is a completely horrible metric to look at because Majestic don't have the investment that Google have to build a kind of a trust algorithm. Majestic don't have a thousand employees in America or all have PhDs in maths and engineering and computer science because they can't afford it. Majestic aren't a multi hundred billion dollar company like google are that make these algorithms that are harder to destroy it's so much easier to manipulate the trust flow algorithm than it would be to manipulate the google algorithm i also kind of realized towards the end of making this video that quite a few people are probably going to be in the comment section or wherever they are commenting that this domain isn't that good because it's a has loads of subdomain links and it b has loads of duplicate content uh, from the links that it's getting, that's why it has a high website anchor text. Um, actually, I think if you compare this domain to the other two I showcased, which most people, well, or, or the one that I showcased that people will be selling, this domain in front of me is going to be a lot better than the domain with directory links, with with link profile links, all that kind of stuff. Um, purely because this domain, A, has links from good domains, so it has links from educational websites, it has links from uh, Linux directly, it has links from all over the shop. Um, B, the whole duplicate issue, uh, it's duplicated, yes, but not all of the links are duplicated, A, and B, um, the links are actually, some of them are in a different language, like this link here, which is the Russian one, um, which is really powerful, I think. Uh, because it's coming from multiple languages, um, and they're not spam multiple languages either, they're different languages. And remember that Google can't determine that a, just because a page is written in English and a page is written in Russian, and it's a translation, that those two pages are duplicate content. Google doesn't decide that whatsoever. And most people will be put off if they see a Russian or a Chinese anchor text, but if that link is a genuine uh, Russian link, or it's, a, it's from a genuine site, Google know that, and Google understand that. Google aren't going to penalize you for having a link from a genuine article of interest okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you actually start using this and i hope the domain industry changes because of this video because currently it's in a pretty bad state and i'm seeing you know new people every day saying they're getting scammed or they're getting no results from the domains they bought off of various marketplaces or off various people so i'll see you in the next blog post or the next video peace hey.